Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It's the Stan 11 show, Everton versus Manchester United, Goodison Park, 430 it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a loud one. It's I don't even know what to expect from this game. It's going to be uh, very strange. Very, very strange. 37,000 Evertonians all pulling in the same direction. Do you know what? It's been a while since that, but I uh, I can't wait for it. So let's get into the team. Jordan Pickford in goal, obviously coming off the back of a couple of games for England. Uh, clean sheet in one, penalty save in another. So let's uh, hope he's at his best in this one. At right back, um, do you know what I've had? I've had a few thoughts about this. Seamus Coleman's back in contention. Ashley Young actually did play quite well at Palace, or he did all right at Palace. Nate, uh, Nathan Patterson played a couple of times for our, uh, for Scotland. Sorry, in the uh, in the break, but. So I'm a bit torn, but I'm just going to stick to my party line and go with Nathan Patterson. Um, me, me heart says Nathan Patterson. My head sort of tells me Ashley Young because actually he was part of the winning team at Crystal Palace. And he's... So I'm, I don't know, but I'm listen, I'm going to go for Nathan Patterson. I know the manager's going for Ashley Young, so it doesn't really matter. But why would you change? Why would you drop Ashley Young after we've just won? At Crystal Palace. You wouldn't, would you? But I'm going for Nathan Patterson because I'm me. Yeah. Uh, on the other side, Michalenko. Goal scorer, supreme. Uh, pre assister, supreme. Uh, <laughs> he's been doing brilliantly of late. Obviously, he's had a bit of a bit of a disappointing week, uh, only getting the draw against Italy, which means Ukraine have gone into the playoffs rather than straight into the Euros for next year. Channel it. Channel that anger for the game on Sunday against Manchester United. And, you know, whoever you come up against, whichever wing you come against, you know, just pocket them, basically. Just do what you've been doing to the other wingers recently. Just pocket them. And, you know, listen, I'll be disappointed if he doesn't score. I'll be honest. That's what I expect our main goal scorers to do now. Score on a regular basis. So I'd be disappointed if he didn't score. But he is starting at left-back. Obviously, the two centre-backs, Tarki. And uh, Jared Branthwaite. Jared Branthwaite captain the England under 21s at Goodison this week. So he's had a good week. Uh, back to playing in a familiar place. He'll have been training all week at Finch Farm. So that's good. And uh, Tarky. Yeah. Tarky just has to be aggressive and do what he normally does and lead the team and sort of make sure the team are reacting the same way. The, be a lot of passion, a lot of emotion at Goodison on Sunday. Just need the team to be in sort of the right mind space. And uh, the likes of him, the likes of Seamus, the likes of uh, Ashley Young, it's up to them to get us in the right place and channel our anger in the right place. So that is my back four. And don't forget, this weekend, it is the Blue Friday event. 25% off everything in our shop to obviously celebrate Black Friday and Cyber Monday. The sale must end Monday night, midnight. Get in there for all your Christmas jumpers and gifts ahead of the Christmas period. Head over to toffeetvesc.com slash shop or toffeetv.myshopify.com. So on to the midfield. Obviously, I'm a doing Nana is... Probably not going to be involved in this game. He went away with Belgium and uh, they obviously decided he wasn't fit. He's come back. He hasn't trained all week. So he looks like he's not going to play. Obviously, he went off at half time against Crystal Palace. And uh, Adjissa Garner Gay came on and scored the winning goal. So he obviously is in the team for this one. So it's good that we've got to play with that much experience who can come into the side. And obviously, he's been part of the side all season. So he's really dropped out like the last three games. So. It's disappointing because Onana's been so good in that number six and would have been a really important player in this to stop you know, Bruno Fernandes who likes dropping into those positions. So it's disappointing that he's not going to be involved. But And it's disappointing as well because then we haven't got... We've got one less player on the bench as well who can play in that role. And I suppose that's the real disappointment. Andre Gomez is, is not back yet. The manager's talk that he's getting closer. And obviously Delhi is not is not back yet. So even though they don't really play that role, but we're really lacking in midfield from the bench. So um, 
it is what it is at the moment. This is what happens when you've got a small squad. But it's important we get Onana back fully fit and we don't rush him back because there's going to be so many games coming up. We need that strength in the squad. So Garner starts obviously in alongside and James Garner obviously starts being in decent form of late as well. Um, starting to show an all-round aspect to his game. And I think, you know, the middle of the park is where he he belongs, not stuck out on the right, so he's in there. And ahead of them, obviously, uh, Decore, who's been so important for us of late, again, scoring in the last game, and he's hugely important and will be in this game. Uh, on the right-hand side, Jack Harrison, who, listen, has he been brilliant? No. Has he been getting assists and, and, and got a goal? Yes. Those keep, keep adding those stats and everything else will start coming to uh will obviously start matching that. His fitness isn't quite there, let's let's not forget. No preseason is uh, just adding the games one by one. But I think he's just gotta be a little bit a little bit more direct in this game. Certainly if if it is Ashley Young, we know the situation. Ashley Young doesn't go past them. So a lot of the time he is isolated out out there. But if you keep on putting crosses in like you did for Michalenko's goal against Palace, then it'll all be it'll all be all well. And on the other side, Dwight McNeil, who again just needs that goal to sort of get his season going. Don't get me wrong, works works really hard. But I thought both of them against Palace were a little bit a little bit off it and that allowed Palace to dominate the ball second half because we didn't really have a threat, even though we went on and won the game. Um, so I'd like to see a little bit more from both of them in this game. I know front Dominic Calvin Lewin, who was pretty ineffective against um against Palace. So gotta get him more involved, which means those wide players joining up, the core getting close to him a little bit more. And I think Domo relish playing against the likes of Maguire and I think that's he'll you know Maguire is good in the air, but I think he'll he'll enjoy that. So hopefully Dom get Dom back to his best, get a goal, and hopefully Everton go on and get the three points. It's gonna be a tough game, but you know if if at the end of that game Everton have got the three points, the noise is gonna be unbelievable, and Everton have just got to channel all that for Sunday afternoon. So there you go. This has been my stand. Let me, let me know your thoughts. Uh, on the game and don't forget get your cards outside get them hold hold them up in the in the ground and make sure we tell the premier league exactly how we feel about them there you go make sure you check out the match preview as well if you want more great videos join us over on toffee tv premier the link is in the description and the qr codes come on the screen now see you later